The Congo isn't just about deep, dark jungles. Throughout the Congo Basin, swampy clearings like this one can be found. They're called byes, and they are just as important as the forests around them. They're a vital meeting place for numerous species, which gives me an opportunity to spot wildlife that's normally hidden deep in the forest. The most exciting part is that you never know what's going to show up. It's the middle of the day, so all of the animals have left the by now to seek shelter in the forest. But it's only a matter of time before they're back, because there's something here that they need. The presence of large mammals in these byes means the presence of something else. Dung. And lots of it. Minerals from this dung pass into the soil, making these clearings the best place for animals to find some of the key nutrients they need. The more dung gets left here, the richer these byes become, in turn making them even more attractive to the animals that left the dung in the first place. And this dung cycle doesn't just affect large mammals, it's also the start of an entirely different chain of events. These fish launch themselves out of the water, hoping to catch the insects that are attracted to the dung. Sometimes they will even go as far as stranding themselves just for the chance of a meal. This is just the beginning of an entire food chain, one which wouldn't even exist if it wasn't for the presence of this buy. If large mammals stopped coming here, eventually this entire by would be reclaimed by the forest. And that's not just a theory. In other parts of the Congo, where poaching is heavy, it's already been seen happening. The animals that come to these byes are responsible for trampling the vegetation, preventing these clearings from closing up entirely. Everything here works in perfect harmony. If just one thing is changed, the balance of this entire ecosystem would shift. And if that happened, the things we take for granted could vanish completely.